So you're replacing the blades on a tomato slicer. Looks like it's just 10 millimeter bolts. It's 3 8 that might work though. Are they good right now? So it looks like it's a 7 16 Fixing it right now. Close the blade. And you're gonna put in the new fresh blade at an angle. I'd say this is the hardest part. Lining it up. Let go of this. This way first. Yeah. Okay. We're on the YouTube because I don't think anybody has this yet on YouTube. Oops. Let's rotate this for a better angle. You think you can take the blade? And do what with the blade? I mean, you can take it out, but there's, you're gonna have a thick uh, tomato slice. No, I mean, but well, you can save it when one day that one. Is yeah, if that one's broken, yeah, it, you know what I mean? for sure. You okay. can do that. I think the hardest part right now is just lining up the blades. this up and come back. So the one that they ordered was a 10 blade, this is a 13 blade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this defective blade right here and I'm going to modify it and see if I can get it to work. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to be using the you know, pliers with the wire cutter and see if it works. So the one I was using was a 10 prong, this is 13 prong from the machine. And I'm just going to show you how to modify it. So I already got one side of the blade out. There's two pins up top. All you gotta do is push that down and in, which I'm gonna do now. Using the outlanch. Push that pin in. This is a 13 blade setup. Uh, the other one I was trying to replace it with was a 10 blade. I realized that later on after counting. So right now I'm just mounting the machine. And as you can see, it just easily falls into place. It should be happening. It's easily falling into place. Now we just got to tack it back up. Get the bolts. Get the 
Brick and Ball. The name? This is how you modify or fix it if you didn't get the right or the right part. So make sure you count the blades first. If you don't count the blades. You could be in a situation like I was, but we need the tomato slicer. This is a restaurant. You can't have burgers without sliced tomatoes. So that's just a quick, easy way to modify it. To what way we get it into a working order. Button this machine up. I'll get that done in just a second. Now I got all these in. So you can see it's five perfect. So the blade is facing towards the spike part. All you gotta do is tighten these up and you're good to go. And that's how you replace it or modify it depending on what you can do um, in your situation. You need to get it running right away and you just need to remove a blade. That's the quickest way to remove one of the blades. Remove one of the little cogs holding it in, take the blade out, put them back, and then replace it all in. Thank you for watching.